Hello everyone. I'm going to talk today about creating a personal action plan. This is something that I talk about in my free PDF that you can get. See the link in bio. But to create your personal action plan, you'll need to do a number of things. One, take action. Take physical action. Nothing happens without taking physical action, right? So one of the things I talk about in the action plan is having SMART goals. You've probably heard this before, but make your goals specific, not vague, measurable, not something that you can't measure, like I wanna be happy, that's not specific enough and it's not measurable enough. Attainable, happiness is attainable, but you want all, all your actions to be attainable. Uh, R is for rewarding and realistic and T is for time bound. And that means we need to have a deadline. We need to say, okay, I'm gonna get this done by the end of the day today or the end of the week or two days from now or whatever. It has to be time bound, some kind of time limit on it. Otherwise, you know, it isn't that gonna get done, right? All right. It's important on your healing journey to ditch your trauma, to stop your emotional reactions. How do we do that? How do we stop being anxious and nervous and feeling like a victim and feeling apathetic or feeling angry, all those emotions that come up, how do we stop doing that? Well, we talk about that in a number of ways. So, you know, doing EFT, tapping on different endpoints of the, the meridians, saying certain words in a positive way, or that it's okay that you're feeling the way that you are. EFT is a really a powerful way to stop your emotional reactions. And there are many other ways that I'll talk about in my course, Essential Mastery, but you can get a little bit more about that in the Ditch Your Trauma PDF. Get help. It's really important to get the help that you need. And that means get support from family, friends, support groups. One of the most wonderful things about my Course Essential Mastery is that there is a support group that you'll join for a whole year. So you'll be taking the journey of healing from your emotional traumas or physical traumas with other people, other women who have done that as well. And that is worth a thousand dollars or more. We need to retrain and we rewire our subconscious mind. What? How do you do that? Well, our subconscious mind is a collection of all the things that have ever happened to us. It's our memory bank and it's not going to go away. The only way it's going to go away is if you take a chunk out, which nah, we're not going to do that unless you have a traumatic brain injury and, and the results are horrendous for that. But you can rewire it. You can reprogram yourself to have new, to develop new neural pathways in your brain. Your brain is neuroplastic. Neuroplasticity is a new word that I learned recently. But your brain can be trained and we can do that faster when you're having fun. So having fun, just like children do, that's why they learn so quickly. But we want to rewire the brain by creating new neural pathways that your, your impulses can go over the new neural pathways and, and take the options that feel the best to you. So we'll talk about rewiring your subconscious mind. Pretty cool stuff. Talking about the mental, how do we create a new mindset? There's a number of ways to create a new mindset, you know, to create a new ways of thinking, you know, taking a look at your old belief system. Do those old beliefs really work for you? If you've been traumatized, they're not working for you, right? You're probably thinking, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, I can't do this, I'm just so anxious, I can't get out of bed, I can't stop yelling and screaming and, and being rude to people, whatever your thing is, we need to change our mindset. And there's a number of ways to do that too. And then the most important thing, as far as I'm concerned, is connecting to your higher power. To me, that's God. I call it the creator, I call it source energy, infinite intelligence, whatever you wanna call it, doesn't make any difference. Uh, in the 12 steps, higher power is a very important part of recovery. Uh, they talk about having the group as being part of your higher power if you can't get behind a supernatural higher power. But I don't, I don't know why people can't get behind a supernatural higher power because something created this fantastic universe that we live in that's unfathomable how huge it is. And that's just the physical universe. Each one of us, each person, each of the billions of people, what, eight billion people now, who live on the planet are a universe into themselves. 
and how many billions of people have come before us that aren't alive today. Anyway, I'm just saying that to remind you that the universe, the multiverse is, is multifaceted, multidimensional, and huge beyond our mental comprehension. So connecting to that, bringing that source energy into our lives, getting into the vortex like Abraham Hicks talks about to create this like energetic frequency that goes out there and brings us what we want in our life. And what do we want in our life? We want happiness, we want calm, we want peace, we want good relationships, at least that's what I want. If you want those things too, if you wanna ditch your trauma, you wanna get rid of all those emotions that are plaguing you and keeping you stuck in wherever you are, then download my free PDF, Ditch Your Trauma Today. All right, until next time, take care.